But now when we get into the documents, we have Stefan Diggs on the team. We didn't even talk about uh, where does this take the Houston Texans and how much better does this make them from this point? Because CJ Stroud already hit his floor last year. If you ch- tuned in last week, we went over our over unders and the Texans were, I believe, at nine and a half, nine and a half, nine and a half wins right there when they already won nine games last year. That's going to be their floor. Your defense got incredibly better with an offensive player of the year candidate and then Stefan Diggs is a perennial at least top 10 receiver at worst you add him there with Nico Collins Tank Dell now coming back you still have Dalton Schultz out that team I mean is this a team now that you look at them and you're like oh I expect you to go toe-to-toe with the Bengals now. I expect you to be able to compete with the Chiefs. And now I expect you to get over the hump versus a team in the second round like the Ravens. Absolutely. I think they're the second best team in the AFC right now. 100%. With the receiver core, with the quarterback, with eventually I think the running back, like the receiver core is elite. With the Bengals, there's the T. Higgins drama, what will happen with him. And then they've had their injuries in the past, and they never seem to figure out their offensive line. The Ravens, they're great, but I really feel like last year was their year, and they blew it. And then the Chiefs, who I'm never going to discount ever again. So it's like, for them, I think the Texans are the second-best team. Plus, you look at the Bengals and the Ravens. like The Ravens lost some players on defense. Meanwhile, the Texans added a defensive player of the year candidate. So their pass rush is going to be elite already. And they already had a decent pass rush before. Yeah, and the thing with C.J. Stroud is I feel like he is someone who processes information, asks the right questions when he's on a podcast with Tom Brady and getting the advice from the right people. And then his work ethic speaks for himself with everything that his teammates say about him, with him texting them plays at two in the morning about what different defenses are doing. It really like fear factor wise. We saw Lamar kind of timid versus Mahomes in the conference championship. Josh Allen is clearly not able to do it against him in the playoffs. And then I feel like now it's really the Texans, the Bengals and the chiefs. And then who else could be a wild card there? But I feel like those are really the only legit contenders now in the AFC outside of whatever Anthony Richardson can become next year. And we'll see, but yeah, those are the only three legitimate ones. And I think that I'll still take the chiefs, because they're on the path to potentially having a three-peat. But overall, like the other two teams, like I actually think I would put the Texans above the Bengals right now with how good they are. Hmm. Yeah, I would need to see them get over the hump in the playoffs, especially playing in Cincinnati, especially because versus the Ravens, it wasn't really close. And I think it'll still be a really close competitive game, but I need to see Joe Burrow at full strength. But You could make the argument, well, if Joe Burrow has a track record of not staying healthy, we know C.J. Stroud is available, then I could see that case being made. But we'll definitely need to see how next season plays.